Today is an important day at the United States Fish Hatchery. That's because today, DEC staff and our federal and university partners are working with Lake Sturgeon. Lake Sturgeon is New York's largest freshwater fish, and unfortunately, it is a threatened species in our state. Back in the late 1800s, overfishing, dams, and pollution nearly wiped out Lake Sturgeon in New York. DEC and our partners have been working toward restoring Lake Sturgeon since 1992. One of the restoration techniques we use is stocking fish into locations where sturgeon were previously found. As part of monitoring our success, it is useful to be able to keep track of the fish we stock as well as the wild fish we encounter over time. One tool we use to do this is a passive integrated transponder tag, or pit tag for short. This is the same kind of tag used when people chip their dog or cat. Each tag has a unique identifier like a barcode. The tags are just a bit bigger than a grain of rice and are injected just under the skin on the sturgeon's back. A special wand can detect the tags and read the code when a fish is recaptured. These fish have been raised in hatcheries and are being tagged just before they are stocked into our restoration sites. Tagging all the fish takes lots of hands. 24.30. Their lengths and weights are recorded along with the tag number. 183. Researchers pool the records of the tag numbers they have used. By sharing this data, we can tell where the fish have moved and how much they have grown since we saw them last. We also use these tags to mark sturgeon we catch out in the wild. The tags can help us tell which fish come from the hatchery and which ones are wild. Our goal is to have many, many more wild fish than hatchery fish out in our waters. That will be a signal that our restoration is a success. These fish are now ready to go out into their new home. Hopefully we will be seeing a lot more of them over the years.